Yo, what up? It's Louie Dog, bringing you some of this War of the Roses, some more of this game. I want to bring in uh, shorter videos, but uh, this is a fucking long match. Um, I'm trying to play some more PvP games so I can get shorter videos, so I can get more viewers, because I don't think... It some random person off of YouTube is gonna be like, oh, okay, I'll sit here and watch this kid play Oblivion for a half hour and just talk. I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, I don't watch those videos that randoms post, and so I figured I'd, I'd watch. I'd, I'm gonna post something that I want to watch. So I figured. <laughs> I mean, this long ass match is just another fucking repeat of every other episode of anything I produce. Twenty, twenty some minutes. Um, I believe I go 13 and 8, if I'm not correct. I just I just jumped right into this uh, this narration because I wanted to get rolling. And there I try out my new visor on this medium helmet. Shit. It's absolute shit. I don't end up using it hardly at all. And when I do use it, it doesn't help me one bit. So I just unlocked the Warhammer. And it's fucking great. Um, right here I don't use it because I'm fighting a guy with less armor. And pardon the frame rate, I can't help what DX Tori does um get up oh, can't execute him so i figured i'd just cut my losses oh the frame rate's atrocious i'm so sorry for that but the warhammer is extremely effective against heavily armored enemies so since everyone's rocking the plate mail or the plate body whatever like myself much like myself i figured i'd roll with the crowd but also find a way to beat the crowd here, my, here I am using my visor, and I'm pretty sure I still get murked anyways, no, to no avail. No help whatsoever. The visors aren't very useful, all they do is cut the fuck out of my vision, and uh, they really don't seem to help. And I get executed shamefully here. Absolutely shamefully. But, yes, the Warhammer, going back to the Warhammer, the blunt damage is great. It's, it's, I, as you can see, this, this is the first time I've used this weapon. Um, and the video definitely shows it because I you gotta hit it with the you gotta hit the enemy the hitbox with the very head of the weapon it's, it's very particular or or else you hit him with the uh, the shaft of the weapon yes yeah, shaft like I did right here and uh, I hit him there hit him with the shaft again hit him with the shaft again oh, I got some damage there but whenever you see me make contact with an enemy I'm just a little bit too close and it makes a hard knock that means I hit him with the shaft and I'm dealing no damage and there's a shield bash that I wasn't too uh, disappointed at being a victim of. Chopping up a little bit at the beginning. Pull out my sword because it's faster and I'm getting frustrated. Get two damage. Five. And I'm pretty sure I just die. Oh, a 28. That was not bad. Did I kill him? No, I got an assist for that one. Yeah, but I, 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 did, I did some major murking in this round uh, with the Warhammer. It, it, I have a perk, uh, Shield Breaker. So when I smack the Warhammer, I, it'll take two smacks to a shield to take it out. It's formidable. It's very formidable. It, it just plows through armor like it's not shit. Fucking got him right there. Don't know how well I fare right here. Oh, I got a critical. I'm pretty sure I could kill him anyways, though. A shield bash that also I'm not too ashamed of. Because it's not being spammed. Yeah, I think I get killed. Yeah, murdered. But it's okay. It's okay. There's many more kills to come. Oh, thank God I got interrupted by execution. And I think I just yield. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this game. I'm going to po be posting a little bit more of this. I <laughs> I went on a spree of recording. I was afraid that uh, my hard drive ran out of space. I was recording so fucking much. Um... But yeah, the overhead swings are, are the best because they drive straight through the skull. You'll see that. You'll see. You'll see a sick hit later. Hit him with the shaft there. Shaft. Fucking shafts everywhere. Major shafting going on. Shaft. See, I, I, I'm, I'm working on. I'm practicing. I'm also practicing my parrying. Uh, my first video, I didn't parry once the entire round. I didn't really have to. I was facing some fags. But now I feel it's a little bit more called for. Um. <sighs> So thank God for this Warhammer. Um, I think I'm gonna keep it just the way it is. No, no additions, cause um, there's always like damage for the exchange for health, or da more health for the exchange of um, of a uh, fucking shit swing speed. Like silly trade-offs for weapon health, but weapon health does not matter throughout one entire lifetime. I, I think I get a five kill streak here, sometime soon. 
throughout an entire lifetime, I've never had a weapon break. Through my, my entire time of playing and throughout an entire lifetime of um, being alive in this game, you'll never break a fucking weapon. Unless you suck serious shit but at, at offense, but you were just like the parry master. Keep getting your s weapon smacked around and you'll be okay. But it's not worth it to me, so I think I'm going to keep everything vanilla. Uh, Milanese is going to take down the damage. The quick fighting style is going to take down damage. And that other one is just going to make it just too slow. Like, it's balanced right now how it is, and I like it. I do very well. God, this is a long match. What should we talk about? Should we talk? We should talk about some super controversial issues. See, I broke his shield right there. Fuck shields, nigga. Um, oh, I get many executions here, too. It's quite fun. Or I get murked, for, stopped from doing many executions. I can't remember. I can't remember really how it goes anymore. But, yeah, what should we talk about? We should talk about... We should talk about... We should talk about... Uh, shit. Uh, let's start off with religion. Religion is always the easy one. Um, may maybe s people care enough to know about my religious views. My religious views are... I am what they call agnostic. It's a nice word. It's a nice n new socially acceptable word for atheists nowadays. Um... I agnostic basically means for those who don't know that I don't believe in a god but I am open minded to such a belief. I don't have a current religion but I would be open minded to be a part of one in the future. A atheist is I that you don't believe in shit, jack shit, and usually it comes with a bad stigma as in like you're a, you're a fucking asshole or you're you're a terrible person. I remember I remember going through middle school being an atheist and it wasn't a shit like Talk about persecution, just for some silly belief. Um, happens in medieval days, happens happens in the Middle East, and it happens in fucking middle school too, I guess. I don't understand why people can't just get along. But, that's that's human nature, that's human nature. Here, I'm trying to escape, because I'm getting fucked. But, the reason I can't believe in a god is not because... I uh, broke a shield again, son of a bitch. Um, is not because... I am ignorant of religion. I do believe in a god of some sorts, because we are not the uh, only hot power, highest power beings out there. We are not omnipotent over ourselves. I believe there has to be at least something that may... I know there's a power that looks upon us, because we can't be unnoticed. We're pretty crazy, and everything away. else is even, could be even crazier. Um, we just don't fucking know. Not yet, anyways. But, I do believe in a god. I don't believe in a Christian god who touches down on the earth, and who has any contact with us at all. Like, that's so superficial and stupid. I believe religion is a crutch for most people. Uh, a family member of mine is a complete religious fanatic. Church every single morning. And it's it's sad because everything she does is based off of this religion. And I, she has no individuality of her own. She doesn't have... She doesn't really have... She has her own likes and dislikes, but she channels those into religion. Like, she loves painting to death, but she'll never paint anything else but, like, gospel pictures or what the fuck ever. Like, it saddens me to see someone so bright just be torn into something that they believe will keep them safe but is really just all in their heads that's what i believe that's what i believe i believe all this god keeping people safe shit is just is just that it's shit how could one how could one believe such a thing you never see this force in your life and all and for for this life that you never see this force you're expected to believe in him to worship him even though who the fuck even knows this this guy exists like oh it's it's saddening to me it's very saddening and people people live their lives based off of this people make li based really strong decisions based off of this fact oh and here's this one fuck face he's probably a noob playing with his sword and shield hit him in the shield smack him around the hardwood teammate gets in the way in a sec i got this shit on lock He's going defensive. I'm gonna take a hiatus from the religious talk. Teammates in the way. I'm like, come on, bro. I got the heavy weaponry. Get the fuck out of here. And then, and then, wait for it. Just wait for it. This guy. Bam. Eat a dick. Headshot. 98 damage. Instant kill. Not instant kill, as in, like, he, there's no chance for execution. But it knocks his health completely down. With default fighting style and everything. 
so that was nice. That's why I like this weapon. You land a lot of hits that are so fucking raw and effective. The enemy is gonna be like, God damn it! That's what they're gonna think. Two headshots on this guy, but he's got a helmet, so I didn't do very much, and they weren't very full powered. Back to religion, man. And s I, I don't think I'm not ignorant of such beliefs. Like I said, I will I respect anybody for what they believe. Whatever gets them through the day, it's just not my personal my personal dogma. It's not my it's not my thing to want. I, I want to be in control of my own life because that's that's the rea that's my reality of it at least. I believe that is the reality, but that's my reality is that I'm in control of my own life. Whatever ac actions I make or the actions I make. I dictate my own life. Things that happen outside of me, well, I can accept because those are just things that happen outside of me. I can't control someone else's feelings. But, oh, I made him bleed out there. But that doesn't mean that any, any other person's feelings are going to be dictated by a higher power any more than mine. I think it's really silly when people pray. No, no, I don't want to say silly. I don't want to say silly. I just don't believe in praying, prayer, and all that. But, um,. I, I, oh, more power to whoever prays. More power to whoever prays, because whatever gets them through the day. I just, I, 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 I guess, I, I guess I am a little ignorant. I, I don't see myself above all that, but I just don't believe it. I guess. I don't, don't want to say I'm, a, I'm above uh, prayer and worship and such, but it's just not my cup of tea. I guess I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say things without offending the group people. Like. I, I, I'm not popular enough right now to be shit on for this, this is, which is why it's nice to talk about. But damn, if someone, if someone like uh, some popular YouTube celebrity, like let's say the biggest faggot on YouTube, Ray William Johnson, said something so controversial like this, spoke his own mind, he'd be persecuted for his own beliefs, no matter what they were. Even if he said he, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I don't think he'd be persecuted if he said something that the majority goes with, and the, the minority wouldn't really fuck with him. But if he said something that he himself believes that most people may not be agree, uh, agree upon, and it th will not hurt anybody else, th then he would get persecuted. I, I get, I've gotten persecuted. My beliefs don't hurt anybody. Just because I don't believe in a god doesn't mean I don't believe in consequence and, and uh, fucking damnation of a soul. Like, doesn't mean I don't believe that. I knock my teammate over on his fucking face. It doesn't mean anything like that. I just don't necessarily agree with or believe whatever is being said. And I kill myself there from team ricochet damage. And I just said, fuck it, I don't give a shit. Or I let my teammate revive me. I don't know. But yeah. But yeah. I, I tr I've tried to be open to Christianity, but I just can't. Um, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard. Like I said, it's fucking hard to iterate these, these opinions of mine. And I know they're fucking frowned upon. But I know a certain somebody who listens to this video is not going to be very pleased with what I have to say. But that shouldn't be... We shouldn't base that, that outcome off of what we say either. Bam! Squad wipe! Killed an entire squad by myself. Fuck them. Fuck them. I'm just a bloodletter today. Yeah. Fuck. It's weird. Life's weird, man. And go, I, don't, I don't believe a lot of things about Christianity. Like, the afterlife? It just sounds silly to me. I, 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 I see the world as the consciousness that we live in today. I think I get executed here. It's, it's shameful, but... It's laggly executed. But I believe in the consciousness we have here. I believe our time on Earth right now is the only fucking time we'll have. So it's pointless to live our lives. It fucking basing... Ah, shit, my mic, I think, is fucking up. Okay, fucking basing our entire lives upon something that we will never see in such a life. Based on faith? That seems like a trick to me. It's like, you live, this man comes up to you and says, I will give you one million dollars if you spend every single Sunday for the rest of your life worshipping my name. You've never seen, like, let's, let's say, let's say you haven't, you don't, you've never seen this man before in your life. You never see him. You only hear him. So, and he expects you to go to church or go to a certain location every day for the rest of your life, for or for 80 years or something. And he will give you is eternal happiness. Some random guy. Let's say you can see him. Let's say he's just some motherfucker on the streets, and he 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 will be watching over you, but he will never you will never see him. And 
you will never he will never he will act but you'll never see it you'll never be able to see anything he ever do but as long as you believe in as long as you believe he'll do it he'll, he'll look upon you and he'll give you that eternal happiness then you'll be okay how can you be expected to trust that that was a long ass tangent for nothing i i honestly have to apologize but how can you trust that i don't i don't trust that i'm skeptical i'm skeptical of people and i guess i'm skeptical of everything i'm looking out for myself and my loved ones i'm not looking out for my f I, I, I rarely look out for my future. I look out for the basics of a future, like, you know, jobs and career opportunities, but I don't look out past that. I don't really give a shit. I just want to be happy, and I work every single day, in the, in the day, in the moment, to make sure that happens. So, that's it. That's it for me on the religious topic. I think I'm, I'm running off of fumes here, and, and I don't really have much else to say. I just, I can't, I can't fade it. I can't, I can't take it all in like I should. Or like, they, they say I should. But, yeah, it's all good though, it's all good. Like I said, I don't disrespect anybody for their religion. I don't ever want to. I don't ever want to be that guy. I, I respect every human being. But, but damn am I doing fucking good. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what point this game is at in the game. But there's this one really anal motherfucker. I think it's this guy right here. Maybe I tuned him just in time. Okay, nope, I killed him. This is one anal motherfucker that shield bashes so fucking much. And I just get so sick of it. I'm just like, God damn it. And I, I, get, I deliver the righteous blow. I deliver the righteous blow. I think it's coming up. Where is he? Where is he? Where's this fuck face, McGee? This fucking faggot of all faggots, the ultimate shithead, the ultimate cockmonger of them all. I don't, th I, I don't know what it is. My my recollection of this game is very fade, faded. Um, I don't know if I just got a kill streak or not. Uh, I think it's this guy. Yeah, it's this guy. Fuck this motherfucker. I think. Yep. Fuck this motherfucker. Fuck him hard. I'm just like, God damn it! Get the fuck off me. And then my teammates come to aid, and then, where is it, where is it? He eats my cock. He eats my glorious penis. My teammate executes him. And then I proceed to cyber shit talk, which is another fun thing. Like, shit talking on the internet's fun. Like, I, I, I'll always say something extremely hurtful. Uh, but never be serious about it. And then all of a sudden turn into not being serious so I can be their friend, like, you know, say something endearing or hilarious. So, they'll become friends with me, or become friendly towards me, and then I eventually, in the end, win. It's, it's an interesting, it's an interesting thing. It's, it's extremely satisfying. I tell him to suck a dick, or eat a dick, and then I tell him that I fucked his bitch ass up. I think this is him, this is him too. He's trying to get back at me, but I'm having none of this. I'm having none of it. Bring out my lightly armored weapon. I'm pretty good with this sword. I've been fucking with it for a long time. I, and then, do I kill him? Or am I gonna exist? Oh, yeah, but I'm really fucking him up hard. I should've killed him. Yeah, I got an assist. Him, there again. And then, he's like, he calls me a faggot, and I'm like, only for you, buddy. <laughs> but then, um, he proceeds to still be in the anal hound that he is. I guess he's a human being. We can't, we can't, we can't force our opinions on others. That's, that's something I also believe. We cannot force our opinions upon others. Because opinions are just that, they're opinions. <laughs> I stop, seriously, mid-battle to fucking chat. Lol. Oh my god, there's the multi-kill streak. Times, I don't even know how I ended up getting that. I don't even know, I didn't even remember I was being alive this long. I don't really keep track of it like that. Like, this game is good. This game is good. Cyber shit talking is so fucking good, though. It, but it, it really, uh, I hate it when it gets to a point where everyone's just trading off words like, fuck you faggot, you, but your dad takes in the ass, or, but you take in the ass from your dad, or people just saying really mean shit, like, the, no, who the fuck is ever gonna give a shit, or, I'll kick your ass, little kid. I think it's really facetious hiding behind the screens. Not, not, e not even, like, in that sense of things. Not hiding behind the screens and being a tough guy, just... Just starting shit and getting that into it. It's just not cool. And it's just... 
Oh, and I execute him right here. <laughs> Give him another less than three. Oh, I'm running off. I'm running on tangents here. I, I don't. I'm not making any sense. I'm not making any sense. Back to the very, 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 very original first topic of um, fucking War of the Roses. This game is sick. This game is sick. And if you want, if you wanted to mute my voice just to watch this entire video, just for the gameplay or the, or the tips or whatever, I don't give a fuck. This commentary is just to keep things fresh. So, yeah, that's 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 this, this gameplay is wrapping up. I think we, uh, he comes at me again. And I'm just like shit. He might kill me, and I might be dicked on. I might be talking big for nothing. But then, nope, nope, nope. There we go. There we go. I can't really even see in this recording view what my score was. Uh, is that 13 and 8? I don't fucking know. It's something. Whatever. I'll put it in the title. I don't give a shit. Um, I hope you guys have found anything anything in this video interesting. It doesn't matter to me what you liked about it. Just uh, as long as you liked something, then I don't give a fuck. So, I've been Louie Dog, And uh, as always, my, my viewers, my first timers, and my subscribers, I want you all to take it easy.